If you're a tutor and you keep losing students, here's what you gotta do. I'm Lisa, if you don't know me, I'm the founder of Lisa Study Guides, a private tutoring company that hires over 35 tutors and we look after 200 students each year. I quit my career as a pharmacist to work from home on this business and now I'm a tutor coach teaching you how to do the same. The biggest mistake I see tutors make is that they're always asking how do I get more students, but they're not asking how do I actually keep those students. There's no point getting more students in through the door if you're just going to lose them, which means you're not building a stable income for your business. Retention is crucial in any business because by having people come back to you, it means that you have money coming back to you every single week after week, month after month, basically growing your business time after time. And so at least the study guides, that's how we've been able to make over $2 million in sales. So let me teach you some of the things I share with my clients. First is once you've got the student in through the door, you're not done. You need to make sure that your first session is stellar. You need to do everything it takes to make sure that that first and blows their socks away to the point where they want to come back to you. How many times have you had a student leave you after the first session because it wasn't a right fit? It wasn't a right fit for them because you didn't do your job properly. So experiment, test time after time with each new student, what works, what's not working, scrap the stuff that doesn't work, keep the stuff that is blowing their socks away. Second, and I don't know why this isn't done more often, but you already know this too, and that is to get feedback. No, I'm not talking about, hey, would you mind telling me how you thought the session went, which is definitely very helpful, but truly create a safe space for your students to tell you exactly what they think about your lessons, not what they think you want to hear. So this could be sending them a form, letting them know that it will be anonymous. You're not asking for the name so that you can truly get some real responses. That way you can know how to actually improve your tutoring services so that you can continue to retain your students. Third is making sure that they fit into your ideal student type. So for me, an ideal student is a student who comes back to me week after week after week. That means that they're consistent. That means I'm making consistent income. As opposed to a student who I've retained for a year, but I only see them once a year. That's not the type of retention that I want. Now, getting students who are keen to come back to you week after week is definitely a lot trickier than the type of students who only want you last minute or only want you every now and then. I talk more about the concept of ideal students in my free masterclass, the three-step framework to building a six-figure tutoring business. So go ahead and check that out in my link in bio.